Hello everyone, today's experiment is decomposing baking soda. We are going to use baking soda and the unknown for our experiment. Let's get started. So I'm going to weigh my empty test tube. For that I'm going to place a beaker, tear it and then place my test tube in the beaker. Now I'm going to add some baking soda. So this is my test tube with the baking soda. I'm going to attach a rubber stopper attached with a glass insert and connected with the tubing and I'm going to clamp it on the ring stand. So that's my setup and I have some water in a beaker. I will st strike the Bunsen burner. So I'll place the end of the tubing in the water and gently heat the baking soda. You do see bubbles coming in the water. The decomposition of baking soda is going on. We'll keep heating the baking soda and stop heating it when the bubbles slows down. The bubbles have stopped. I'm going to take it, take the tube out of the water, but there's some moisture in the test tube. I'll open the rubber stopper and keep heating the test tube to get rid of the moisture. So you can see the moisture deposition in the test tube. If you weigh it with the moisture, it'll incorporate a lot of error. So we'll heat it so the moisture dries out before we can weigh it. Right now the test tube looks dry. All the moisture has been evaporated. I will let it cool down before I can weigh it. The test tube has cooled down. We'll go ahead and weigh it in the balance. Place the beaker, tear the balance, and then place the test tube with the product. So for the unknown, I'm going to measure the empty test tube, tear the balance with the beaker, and then place the test tube in the beaker. I'm going to add some unknown. I'm using unknown B. a dry stopper. If you reuse the same one, it will have water. Connect the stopper. This end is going to go into the water. We're going to strike the burner and start heating it.
shuffling back and forth for even heating and if you see a drop of moisture coming down you have to quickly heat the test tube above the solid so it dries out. If it reaches the solid, it might crack the test tube because this solid is pretty hot. The moisture, which is water, would cool it down and end up cracking the test tube. So the bubbles have stopped. I'm going to take out the tubing. So open the stopper and heat the test tube for the moisture to dry. going to heat it a, a little bit more to get the couple drops of moisture from the top of the test tube. If there's some plastic on the clamp, avoid heating the plastic, otherwise it'll catch fire. Now the test tube looks dry, I will let it cool down and weigh it. Now the test tube has cooled down, we'll go ahead and weigh it. Tear the beaker. Place the test tube with the product.